All right, in this video, I'm going to show you um, two different methods of multiplying a one-digit number by a two-digit number. They are both written methods. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you, uh, you use. They both work. Uh, one is going to be probably more familiar to you than the other. Okay, so let's suppose we uh, start with uh, uh, our number 28 uh, multiplied by... Four. Okay. Now this is uh, the standard written method. All right. You have uh, units, tens, and the idea is I just change color here. The idea is that you multiply this number by this number, and then you multiply it by this number, and you will get your answer down here. Okay. Uh, in the other method, it's called the grid method. You have a grid, obviously. Okay. And you have 20, and then you have 8, and you have 4 here, and you're multiplying. Okay, I'm just going to change it back here. Okay, so let's uh, go and work on this one, and uh, we'll just uh, check our work with, with this one. Okay, so uh, you take 4 and you multiply it by 8, uh, 4 units by 8 units. Okay, um, that's like saying 4 sets of, <coughs> four sets of 8 are going to give you how much. Uh, you really do need to know your times tables um, when you're multiplying. Uh, it definitely makes it easier, so I encourage you to make sure that you know them. Okay, so in this case, uh, 4 times 8 is 32. Write the 2. And I make sure that it's in line with the unit's column. Okay, I don't write it over here because then it's going to get confusing, especially if you, when you start multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. Okay, so make sure that you're putting this digit right below the 4, and the 4 should be right below the units digit in the two-digit two number. Okay, so now you take the 4, and you multiply it by 20. So 4 sets of 20 is going to give you 80. Okay, I don't write the 80 because uh, it says 80. Uh, I've got 8 sets of 10, which is 80, and I've got the two units left over here. Okay, now I've already made a mistake because uh, this was 32, but I didn't write the 3 up here in the tens column. So 4 times 20 is 80, but I forgot to add on the 3 sets of 10. Okay, so actually, our answer is going to be 112. Okay, and we can double check that over here. Alright, so... Um, <coughs> Uh, 4 sets of uh, 20 is 80, and 4 8s are 32, and now I just add them, uh, I can write it over here, 80 and 32, add it to 112, 112, okay, that's why this is a good example of why it's always a good idea to double check your work. And uh, if you can do both both systems, then it's great for you to be able to check your work using both. It's a, it helps make sure uh, that you're uh, working out properly and getting the right answer. Okay, great. So that's uh, the standard method, and this is the grid method. Good luck.